Not a monkey, he's not an animal. But Brittany Miner says that's what an Edna Rowe elementary staff member called her son as she picked him up from school three weeks ago. As she approached us and got closer, she was like, oh, he's running around, he's like a little monkey. Miner says she told the staff member it's not okay to call him a monkey. Proceeded to say, oh, well, look at his little face. Miner says she was willing to give the employee the benefit of the doubt after the first comment, but believes commenting on her son's appearance afterwards was racist. Them just listen to know that she really don't care or she don't have any regard to what she was saying to people or, you know, people of color. Miner wants to see the staffer fired. She's asked an attorney to help her. Well, to make sure that uh, an employee like that isn't around children of color or children in, uh, in general. So... All right, guys, you guys just seen that video. And shout out to Phil the Advice. So that's where I got the video from. You know, uh, discrimination runs rampant uh, in America. And, you know, racism. It could, we could face it within our community or even outside of our community. And, you know, whether it's colorism, you know, by, you know, a, let's say a light skinned black person could call you um, black. I actually, I actually had this happen in my job. By this uh, girl, she used to work there and all that stuff. She used to call me black ass and everything and all that stuff. And I just laughed it off because I didn't really want to give her that much energy. I did confront her about it that first time. And, you know, she basically didn't even stop or nothing. But, you know, this is happening to black children in, in the United States all over, you know. It's not just a one state and all that stuff. And for those of you who have children, you should, like I said, you can always talk to your children and see what they're going through. You never know if they're being attacked at school, bullied, you know, and you should know what's going on and all that stuff like that. Don't just come back from school, hug and kiss them, and then just let them go to their room and play games or make sure they do their homework, and that's it, because there's a lot more going on in these schools. And, you know, this teacher, you know, she was really bold. You know, ever since Trump got elected, a lot of these white people have become really bold. You know, she doubled down, even though the mother was saying, don't call him that. She, you know, she was just basically... Um, you know, she doubled down. She said, well, look at his face and all that stuff, that he do look like a monkey and all that stuff. Meanwhile, these are the people with the rhesus, with RH positive DNA and all that stuff, rhesus monkey blood in, in their DNA for the most part, and they have the nerve to call us monkey. People who are said they are, they are these descendants of Neanderthals and all that stuff. If you know, there has been a story, and I think I might upload a video from Turkey, somewhere in the northern areas of Turkey near the Caucasus Mountains. There's this white family who's still walking on all fours. Like, they're four legs and two hands, too. But we're the monkeys. Okay. But, you know, I'm, I hope um, this mother prevailed in her lawsuit. You know, she hired a black lawyer. The brother looked really smart and all that stuff. Again, shout out to Philip Scott, the advice show. Is where I get most of my stories from. He's not biased and all that stuff. I know he had the controversy with his wife and all that. But other than that, the brother delivers on the story, and he's not biased or sugarcoating like the main mainstream media. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.